Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Bible Cast. You know what day it is. Today is Thursday, Pray Day. It's one of our favorite days of the week. And today we're going to be praying through Psalm 27. This is a Psalm of David, and it's a prayer about waiting on God. And so as we get ready to do that, you can grab your hot morning beverage of choice. And always put in your prayer request there in the comments, or if you would rather email those in, you can email them to biblecast at tfc.org. And as well, if you are not yet following our Facebook page, or if you're not subscribing to our YouTube channel, go ahead and do that. That way you can be notified of every single new time that we go live, including the Biblecast and our weekend services and other things we have going on here at Trinity Fellowship. So we are excited to dive into Psalm 27 with you today. Let's get started, starting in... Verse 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and foes, it is they who stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war arise against me, yet I will be confident. Father, we thank you this morning that you are light, that that is your name, that it's who you are. We thank you that where your presence is, where your light is, there cannot be darkness. Thank you that light and darkness cannot coexist. We remember that this morning, that we have no reason to be afraid, that you are our strength, that you are our stronghold, so we do not have to be strong in and of ourselves, but that we get to fully rely upon you. And so we rely upon you. Father, we rely upon you where the enemy would come into our thoughts and try to mess with our circumstances and our relationships, where he's coming at us with health issues, with confusion and being overwhelmed. God, we thank you that it is those things that fall and that you stand and that we get to stand upon your firm foundation and let your light shine into these areas of our lives. And so we say this morning that we are confident. We are confident in you, that you overcome, that therefore we get to be overcomers too. And we thank you for that, God. Verse four, one thing I've asked of the Lord that I will, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will lift me high upon a rock. Father, we we thank you that we can find rest in you, that we can find refuge in you, that you are our place of safety and security. God, we have confidence in you and in you alone today, despite what's going around. And God, we just we submit our fears to you, our concerns to you. Uh, we we even declare uh, to to the spirit of fear that be gone in Jesus' name. We send you to the foot of the cross. And Father, we ask that you would give us the peace of your Son. And that would fill our hearts and our minds, God. Our hope is not in what happens or does not happen Mm -hmm. to us uh, today, but our hope is in you. Thank you for being our redeemer and our defender, for for providing that dwelling place in your house. We keep our gaze upon you today, upon your goodness, upon your mercy, your grace, and your love. Keep our eyes turned and focused on you, and we put our complete trust in you today. Mm -hmm. We trust you over our worries, our troubles, and we press into you with the concerns of our heart. Verse 6, And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me, and I will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing and make melody to the Lord. God, we thank you for lifting us up high, and that from that vantage point we can see things the way that you see them. God, I pray that you would put our enemies the enemy into right perspective and remind us today that he is small compared to you, and that as we as we come up, Would you give us your vision to see our eyes, to see our circumstances the way that you see them, that you see them as full of hope, that you see the completed and full picture. And God, as we do that, as we come up high this morning, we praise you. We praise you in the middle of every single circumstance. We offer a sacrifice of praise that God sometimes, um, when we come, when we come to praise you, it is that sacrifice. It's that when we're, when we're, feeling it, you know, when we're, when we're seeing the, the surrounding of the enemies, God, we offer a sacrifice 
of praise that even in the midst of any circumstance, we recognize that you are worthy of it. And so we shout with joy. We sing, we make melody to the Lord. We pray to you. We cry out to you. We let our lives and the way we live them, the way we even go about living out today, be a melody that is pleasing to your ear. God, we thank you for lifting us up. Thank you for shifting our perspective this morning and giving us the right vision to see things from your holy light-filled perspective thank you god verse 7 hear o lord when i cry aloud be gracious to me and answer me you have said seek my face my heart says to you your face lord do i seek hide not your face from me turn not your servant away in anger O you who have been been my help cast me not off forsake me not O god of my salvation for my father and my mother have forsaken me but the lord will take me in God, thank you that we can come to you, that we can uh, turn and run to you. God, We and would you help us do that honestly and openly with you, God? Would we come to you with open hearts? Um, thank you that we can, we can be, uh, thank you that we can be exactly where we are with you and that you accept us, that you draw us in. God, we commit to draw near to you, to be honest uh, with where we are and what we think. And God, uh, we surrender those things to you. Mm-hmm. We give them to you. We trust them uh, to you. And we trust you with them. We thank you that uh, we can boldly approach your throne of grace this morning. God, thank you that your face is towards us. Thank you that you do invite us through Jesus to approach you as our Father, a good Father who receives us, hears us, covers us, knows us. God, thank you that you are our defender. And we don't have to defend our own name, but that you are the one who defends and goes before us. So go before us today, God. Go ahead of us into the circumstances and situations that you know will happen, Mm -hmm. that you know that are going to take place, and that you, um, as we make our plans today, you ordain our steps, God. We submit this day to you. Verse 11. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Give me not up to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and they breathe out violence. Father, we say this morning that we are not asking for an easy path. You promised us that we would have troubles in this in this world, but you also promised that you have overcome the world. And so we ask for a level path, one that is a strong place to stand, one where our feet can be Um, steady and sure and confident one on which we will not stumble because we are so confident in who you are and that you are making um, the crooked path straight and that you are clearing the way god i pray that um, you would you would be with us that you would hold us and shelter us um, as we stand um, with you and uh, we we love you father and we are so thankful that where um, where it says in verse 12, for false witnesses have risen against me and they breathe out violence. I thank you, God, that you've given us the breath of life mm-hmm. and that you speak life over us, that you fill our lungs with each and every breath. And I pray, God, that as we do, that you would help us to breathe out Holy Spirit, that our words would be saturated with with you um, your words that i would pray that you would even give us breath to speak life over our situations um, over our nation over our cities over our communities god i pray that you would give us the the words to pray and the words to speak life into these situations as you hold us on a firm strong foundation and on a level path verse 13 i believe that i shall look upon the goodness of the lord in the land of the living wait for the lord be strong and let your heart take courage wait for the Lord. So Father, we do keep our gaze set on you. Would you show us your goodness in every circumstance today? Just as we've been uh, reading about Paul and how he saw the goodness of you providing an opportunity for him to share the gospel in the midst of being in prison, God, would you show us your goodness right where you have us in every situation and every interaction that we have today? God, we declare your goodness and we look for it uh, God, and we we stand firm knowing that we are your people in the land, in your land. So you give us life. You give us breath. So we don't move until you move. We we commit to waiting on you today. Mm-hmm. And we uh, we commit to not being discouraged, God, but to, to be strong in you and in your spirit, to allow our courage to be found in you. And we wait for you and we move on you. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Amen. Well, hey, it's always awesome to pray with you on Thursday Pray Day. We'll see you at church this weekend. Have a good one.